Joseph, my five-year-old son, has never been to Owl Lake. I had thought about having him adopted, but I would not part with, him, part with him when the time came. And I'm glad, though I know he finds it hard. He's beginning to get curious about his father, and I don't know what to tell him. I tell him all the good stuff. I say, your daddy is an El Salvadorian drummer who swept me off my feet when I was lost in New York. I tell him he has brown eyes and dark hair and he loves to drink Jack Daniels by the neck. And I tell him that high on hash or marijuana or God knows what, we danced on a tenement building in Brooklyn to one of Richard's cello recordings. But I do not tell him that he is married with two sons to an uptown, jaded society girl and that I tricked him into getting me pregnant because I thought it possible to have something for myself that didn't stink of our leg. I do not tell him that on the day you were born, that jaded society queen came to the hospital, chucked you under the chin, told me I was your daddy's last walk on the wild side gave me a five thousand pound check and said you're on your own kiddo and she was right i had no business streeling into her life no matter how tired it was and i do not tell him that when you were two i wrote a sensible letter asking him to acknowledge paternity and I do not tell you that I got no answer. Well, pardon me if I don't chew your trousers off or kiss the great man's bum. Look. I said I'll probably take the job and I really don't understand why I need to sign something. Yeah, I've just got a problem signing things. I, know, I think I must have been scared by a contract when I was a small child. Of course I trust you, sweetheart. I trust all directors to be duplicitous, devious little weasels and I've never been let down yet. <laughs> You're not the only one with lots to lose, Sydney Little. No, I've done my time. While you were running around Hollywood trying to buy photos of Jackie O'Nassis with her great big fun bags flying, I was a dog's body on the Preston Clarion. And I mean dog's body. No, I've had a taste of La Dolce Vita and I am sticking my talons in deep. Never again am I going to get up at 5.30 in the morning to report on a sheepdog trial. Never again am I going to cover a Liberal Democrat by-election. No. And never again am I going to have to review another show by the Preston Rep. Oh my God, there was this great big old ham and whatever part he played, I, I had to see him for three weeks, every two and a half years, it was awful. Whatever part he played, he did his Noel Coward impression. Hamlet's ghost, Noel Coward. The Crucible, Noel Coward. Mother Courage, Noel Coward. I was actually waiting for him to do a Noel Coward and imagine this. His accent was so clipped, he pretty much only pronounced the first letter of every word. So, I can tell you, Cindy, I am not going back to that. I've done my time and now it's beginning to pay off. I've got my own column. 
I have cooked with Rusty on TV AM and I did two episodes of Blankety Blank last series and Les called me Cuddles. And between you and I, tonight is the big one. I finally got Wogan. Yeah, so that is why I'm a little bit nervous about coming to Stuttgart to work for a, a, an editor that I scarcely know. I don't like to be bossed around, Sydney. And on top of that, I have to show a contract to Peggy. And if Peggy's not happy with it, she might show it to a lawyer. So that's that. I'm not going to change. Bye bye, Sydney. The raven himself is hoarse, that croaks the fatal entrance of Duncan under my battlements. Come, you spirits that tend on mortal thoughts, and unsex me here. Fill me from the crown to the toe, top full of direst cruelty. Make thick my blood. Stop up the access and passage to remorse that no compunctious visitings of nature shake my fell purpose. Nor keep peace between the effect and it. Come to my woman's breasts and take my milk for gall. You murdering ministers, wherever in your sightless substances you wait on nature's mischief. Come, thick night, and pull thee in the dunnest smoke of hell, that my keen knife see not the wound it makes, nor heaven. Peep through the blanket of the dark to cry hold. Hold!